Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonnet Television. I'm Chris, thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about a vehicle that you took a look at mm -hmm. over at Starco. Oh, great presentation it is. I remember it very well. Nice, clean, simple, yet effective, and many tricks to be found from the team at Star Cars. Now, the vehicle itself is a watch commander. Yeah, so it's going to be something that you can put a few different names to, so a slick top or perfect for UC undercover use. So carrying over to any of those folks who just want to have something nice, clean, discreet, nobody notices it until you turn on the lights and the sirens. Right, but it's not really aimed at the detective market. No, it's going to be something that is going to be a little bit more tuned up for yeah the watch commanders or even an example for folks carrying over to fire and rescue so maybe something over for a battalion chief right okay well let's go from here to you wherever you may be in the ether current vehicle under works by star cars is a ford 2017 utility interceptor a bit different than we're used to seeing when it comes to this vehicle and being set up with the street appearance package so we're getting away from the glossy white or glossy black also make a note when it comes to the vehicle's wheel package so something different than the conventional law enforcement to make this vehicle blend into the streets. Star Cars has done a stealth when it comes to the lighting package, taking advantage of smoking out the lenses. So for example, on the vehicle's rear view mirrors and the Whelan Ford Ready for the Road, they have smoked out the lenses on the ions. Carrying on to the interior of the vehicle, again following with stealth as that's the key, the Phoenix Fusion interior bar. Also note the smoked lenses over the warning modules and the takedowns. So again, it's taking that conventional sheen off the clear optics and the reflectors and the modules and getting rid of that so you don't have any light bouncing back out of the product, letting folks know that it's there. Following to the interior of the vehicle, guys are doing a wonderful job taking out stock components, making room for the components yet to come in the form of wiring tie-ins for the rear power distribution and equipment console MDT mount to come. In the back, Austin is doing his preparations for the power distribution system. So on the passenger side and rear cargo area, bracketry is being constructed for the Whelan Syncom and Star Cars power distribution system. So once a few more hours go into Austin's touches, you won't even know that there is a power distribution hidden in the back of the vehicle taking care of everything. Also, in the back of the Ford, more touches from the wheel and ready for the road in the form of ions grafted into the rear basin of the hatch and the rear headliner mounted in the shrouds, again, a conventional red and blue with the ions. To add more pop to the rear of the vehicle, we've taken advantage of hideaways installed into the taillights. With this vehicle, stealth again being the key, more lighting will come onto the interiors through the side third windows. So once everything is done and buttoned up back there, rear cargo panels go back in with brackets and warning. Carrying into the front end here, notice all the preparations that have to go into this just for the routing of the wiring. So a lot of disassembly has occurred, but with the trusty team here at Star Cars, everything here will go back completely in place. You'll never even notice that it was taken apart. In the rear of the utility is going to be a headliner mounted dual weapon storage system. Affixed on here with custom brackets fabricated by Danny, tying into the Ford interior skeleton for plenty of support for the dual weapon mount and the weapons themselves when secured. So here is a look at the heavy duty bracket bolted into a rear upper crossbar in the roof and following suit into a secondary bolt point into the rear cargo hatch area making this a nice simple bolt together system a new day at star cars and the installation steadily moves on danny on the interior of the utility has made a wonderful change as you can see so front seats are bolted back in and he is working away on the Jotto equipment console and taking care of all that finite wiring making connections for the controller and radios moving around into the back of the vehicle midship seat in there as you can see and Austin working away on the electronics on the interior. So working away with a power distribution system and wiring for the Syncom on the passenger interior panels. 
Once completed, the vehicle's power distribution and Sapphire siren and lighting controller for Whelan will be hidden away nicely behind the rear cargo panel. To show you a difference between the two with Austin's modification, the panel here completely unscathed. So open the access door here and you'll notice that the backing has been completely trimmed out, allowing access to the power distribution board. And for the Syncom Sapphire, trimmed away the top of the panel here, a replacement metal panel affixed over. Well, here you have it, guys and gals, Star Cars and the finished blue 2017 Slick Top Utility Interceptor. A nice simplistic lighting package, as you can see here, and when the lighting is off, it just disappears completely into the background. So for front end protection, starting with the headliner and blasting away in red, blue, and white, from Phoenix, we have their Fusion Interior Bar. And wonderful thing with this, the fit and finish designed right for the utility. So wire it into your electronic system for controlling the functions, and it's a simple bolt-in to the headliner on the sun visors. Ready for the road mirror beam package, and it has been added on with a stealth lens tint done by Star Cars. So this isn't something that you're going to find available from Ford out of the package. So again, nice custom touch here. When it comes to brightening up the midship on the utility, taking advantage of Whelan's plug-in headlight flasher for a more rapid flashing of the high beams. Tied into the inserts in the headlight buckets is the Code 3 MR6 MCs with the corresponding bracket for an easy bolt-in. So flashing away here, nice and bright in red and white and corresponding to blue and white on the passenger side. So when it comes to colors and placements, conventional when it comes to red and blue, driver and passenger accordingly. Into the front grille with a nice tint over the lenses is Whelan and their stud mount microns. So again, they are a nice clean pop in to the tabs that come right out from Ford in the interceptor grills. As you can see, that is it when it comes to the front of the lighting. So the inserts here where fogs could go were left untouched again to allow the vehicle to blend right into the surrounding vehicles on the street with it. So when it comes to moving around the vehicle, touches of lighting have been added into the side third windows, carrying through with another product from Code 3, and it's the Chase light heads. Red and white, nice and vibrant, rapid flashing here, and blue and white onto the passenger side. The rear of the utility is sporting a simplistic lighting package as well. Starting with the taillights, Code 3, and their Police Interceptor Twist Lock Hideaways. So very nice when it comes to outfitting the utility package versus a normal Explorer where you'd have to bring in the drill. Carrying into the ready for the road ions grafted into the basin of the hatch here, nice and vibrant, red and blue alternating. So when the cargo is up, nice and bright it is. But to match suit with the ions that disappear when the hatch is closed, red and blue grafted in to the top of the hatch. With the utility ready for action, interior buttoned all back up, hiding the power distribution system that Austin has nicely, nicely put together. Danny's weapon mount system completely bolted down, ready to go. And as you can see, using the facsimiles of the AR and the shotgun, perfect containment for the weapon system. Wrapping up the utilities installation is a very tidy MDT and console system provided by Star Cars. Up here, a two-piece with a lower keyboard tray and a Havis mount for the G-Tech computer to come. A nice Jotto desk equipment console, well lined up when it comes to maintaining the radio, and easy control of the vehicle's siren and lighting through Wheeland's Syncom Sapphire. Plenty of room for the microphones, dual cup holder, armrest, and ticket printer behind. It also offers great easy to use accessories, triple 12 volt outlets, and relocates the factory USB and auxiliary input. And finishing off at the top of the console, a nice Jotodesk blue LED map light provided by Star Cars. When it goes from an SUV that's going down the road, ready to get groceries, with the flip of a switch, instant changeover for law enforcement ready mode. There you have it, a wonderful job by the gang of Star Cars finally tuning out the 2017 Ford Utility Interceptor into the stealth SUV we see here. What do you think? 
Very nice. It's kind of nice to see something that's not black, it's not white, so that navy blue finish. And then of course, with that little bit of a street tune package, so carrying over to the wheels. Again, just making this thing blend into traffic nice and perfect. Now, the other thing too, of course, you wouldn't be using that as a battalion chief's vehicle. No, but of course with us and the diversity of our clients reaching over state to state, there are some different applications. So maybe correcting myself from battalion chief to an example for volunteers, so the POV. Right, there you go. So all of the equipment, of course, is available on Sirenet. Quite a diverse lot it is, too. It is so make sure to peruse all the great product pages that correspond. I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. Thanks for watching Sana TV.